Hello guys, this is Anish Vijay with another video on my new updated rig. So, uh, let's start off. First, I'm going to show you how to install it. You can skip ahead in the video if you already know how to do this. And I'm going to talk about payment. So, first of all, let's get to the payment. You need to either you pay me through PayPal and you tell me, oh, I paid you through PayPal at this email account. So, once I see $30 have been sent to me, I will send you the rig. Or you can go to Turbo Squid and just buy it through there. Uh, I earn a little bit. Uh, actually, I like I learn about twelve dollars per rig sold, which is and the actual price is like thirty. So it's really really bad at Turbo Squid. So they just steal all your money. I uh, I don't know why I'm using Turbo Squid, but yeah. Um, uh, so yeah. It'll be more detailed in the description, so yeah, go to the description and installing. Uh, if you buy it through TurboScript, you get two folders, and what you have to do with those two folders is you go into uh, Finder or whatever, type Cinema 4D Neo version of 13, you should find this folder here, or you can go into Applications, um, Maxon. and it should be here, uh, Cinema 4D, but I moved my folder out, so it's not in there. The library browser and then just drag this in here which I've already done so yeah so and then you restart your cinema 4d and if you go to content browser you should go to presets here and then find it it should be a locked folder with two rigs such looking like that this is version uh, version 4 and this is version 1 and my version 1 is more I made it for you guys Version 2 is mainly for my use, so uh, version 4, whatever, version, I, don't, I lost count, it's, <laughs> I lost count, so yeah. Um, and they don't have textures, that's why uh, you need to install the second folder. The second folder has all the textures inside. Um, oh yeah, and the second folder you have to, to download it, you need to download the media file link in, in the description. The, sec uh, the first one is through TurboScript, um, which is the main rig. Then you have uh, like armors and items and extras and skins and stuff inside this text folder. Yeah, I know it's it's because Minecraft has copyright on the textures, which is really stupid. And yeah, um, okay, so starting off to my rig. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go through all the features again. So the feet, uh, we have feet on it, uh, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen a rig with it yet, just yet in Cinema 4D. Well, there probably probably are, but yeah. Uh, then we have the control. Uh, it's not parented to the arms anymore uh, because. Uh, easy way of animating the arms being parented is you just select all three and then you just move it like so. So yeah, I don't have it anymore. So now we, yeah, now the arms sharpen, everything's good. And say you move it and you move you move it a lot and you want it to go back to its original position, you would just uh, just zero out everything here and it'll go back to its original position. Yeah, I parented it so that it does that. Um, okay, and then we have the fingers, and if you go into the visual selector here, it'll be a lot easier to work with them. So just select all, five, all of them, and you can open it, close it, and if you select both of them like so, you can get a pose from the finger, or you can just see, select each one individually or whatever, and you can just a pose like so and yeah and say you want other controls you can just move one like so this one controls that one and this one controls that one okay undo 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 uh, then we have shoulders of course for extra control for breathing and everything and then we have that um, and now we have the facial features so if you go into the template main now, we have enable outer head, which is which is when you have a character like the Assassin's Creed guy. He has outer head, so if you disable it, yeah. So yeah, 
Yeah, and so to change the textures, you're just dragging the, the skin you want over here, and then you need to adapt the 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 the. the, the, the uh, I will show you later. Um, adapt the face to it. So you can change the eyebrow color, pupil color, eye color. Uh, eye color is like the outer things. For zombies, I change it to black. Uh, mouth type doesn't work anymore because I improved the mouth. We'll see later. And we have lip sync, just load in a file, enable it, and yeah, it will start working. Enable auto breathe. So I put it back. So now it just breathes. Uh, he just stands in one place. I'm gonna add another animation. Um, uh, better one soon. Ooh. Uh, it's kind of, it's gonna be called the waiting animation. It's just walking around and stuff, just waiting. I guess it'll be good for background characters. That's my intention. So that's off auto breed. Um, okay. So uh, the mouth, um, as you can see, it's improved. Uh, it has now just six controllers. Before it had like way too many, and I never use them. Like, um, never use the one here, never use the ones here, so I just changed it to three. And now, animating the mouth is a lot faster. Plus, the uh, you can you have full control of it like before, and it is thicker as you can see, and a lot less lag because I used a different way of um, cha making the uh, vectors for the mouth, so now you don't have to de delete those pose morphs, so no lag. It actually is lag free now I guess I think the eyebrows are more laggy than the mouth now which is really cool um, say it's lagging too much you just go here go to here make sure you unlock it under the layers mouth and just reduce the subdivides editor but in the render it will come out really smooth looking but if you just increase this by one it will be okay but as you can see in the render it's set to three so in the render it will look nice Let's lock it back. Uh, and okay, so the eyes. Um, so I improved the eyes. So as you can see, you can change the position, why it is, and don't worry about the textures. They will automatically update. Uh, like change depending on where the eyes are. And we have the pupil depth. Depth. Um. Uh, I like to that thirty. I think. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the eye depth. Then we have the lid position, so you can have the 2x2 two two eyes if you like, and then we have the full open eyes thing, like so, and you can scale the eyes, you can auto blink, if you enable it, he will start blinking, and this is the speed, increased fire will blink a lot, so yeah, he will blink, it, it, it's it is kind of slow actually. Oh yeah, that's because I'm recording. Um, my computer is very bad, <laughs> and it, it, it's really bad, which is good because then I know if this rig is laggy. But it is not at all laggy, so which is really good. So now we have the eyebrows. Actually, did I go through all the features? Right. So you can blink one eye, scale one eye. Oh, forgot. Um, yeah. Oh no, I went through it actually. So you can you have manual controls as well. And then you have the teeth here. Uh, oh, actually, let's just open the mouth. Say, say you want, um, say with your mouth you're doing lip sync and stuff, you can move it here. And say you want for extra control, you would move this like so, and move this. So it's all manual. You can manually animate it as well. So, and then you have the teeth. You can manually move it as well. And then the tongue also and the teeth you can control here also and yeah <coughs> so that's about it for the mouth and yeah so i have a lot of control with the eyes um eyebrows uh, move it up move them visually rotate them so scale them and this one is for that um Okay, that's about it for the eyebrows and stuff. Uh, okay, so next thing is...
use the data here. So it's exactly the same. Everything is there. Um, so it's just you have it on the editor and you can move them wherever you like. To delete them, for if you have a bad computer, you would go to other and just go under this. Uh, you have to enable that and it'll come up and then you just off the controllers and that's it. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add the items and stuff. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to show you the C motion and stuff. So attributes, oh no, layers, layers. I'm going to off the controllers so you can't see them. Okay, so now let's enable this. Oh yeah, uh, what the eyes can do. Uh, let me show you. <laughs> it's just that my rig has so many things I, um It's difficult to remember all of them. Uh, so why is this guy good? Okay, so say this guy, the eyes are too low, as you can see. Uh, let's enable the controls again. So the eyes are too low. What you have to do is just move it, move it up. And that's it. Yeah, that's what I want to show you. <laughs> it, it's dependent on the character. Okay, so now let's get to the cycle. So run cycle. And as you can see, the feet are adapted to the ground. They adapt to the ground. Really nice run cycle. It is really laggy as I am recording. Uh, really, la I don't. I like this run cycle. <laughs> And then we have the walk cycle, also the feet adapt to the ground. And it's a good reference template, I guess, to know how to animate a walk and run cycle. Um, then we have it rendered here, a really bad render of it. Uh, just to save render time, no anti-aliasing. And uh, then we have the run. Uh, And then, yeah, pictures of the rig, the different. This is it, Steve. You can scale the eyes a little more. Uh, this is different eyes. Um, then we have this guy. Then we have the armor, and yeah, um, you can see it's a pretty cool rig. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna now show you how to add the armor. Uh, let's enable the controllers. Um, actually, yeah, I can just. Uh, add the items and stuff. So go into the rig items, go to armor, and as you can see, you have instructions here. Uh, you can read it. It'll just tell you what to do, like small piece of it. And then if you if you select the house things next to the each item next to each null or whatever, it tells you where to parent it to. So let's go under control. Make sure you unlock these two layers. It says to unlock these two layers, and now it should be unlocked so you can now parent them and stuff. So, the bow, go to the house, see where it goes. Um, right arm, th arm right three, which is the bone over here. And just move that there. Same for the tools, just move it there. And then the boots, uh, left and right. Go here. Oh no, oh, here. And right here. So I'm gonna do the ones for parenting, and then I'll get to the ones that need binding later. Ah, uh, now. Okay, so now we have these three things we need to bind. So body armor, you select that, and you select the body two, body three, and body one. Then character commands bind, and then we select the right leg right. Select these three bones. Character commands bind, and then we select. The leg left. The reason why I haven't added it to the rig, it'll be really easy to do that, but my computer can't handle it. 
so I just leave it to you guys to edit by yourself it is really basic so now we binded everything uh, so now everything is good um, let's lock the layers again uh, say you want to see the now the leg now um, body thing you would go here just scale it up a little oh, oh scale this up and yeah just scale it up a little and then you can see it okay so now as you can see uh, the leg is going through the thing so how to fix that is you find this espresso with the legs and positions and rotation stuff here and you just delete it or you just disable it like so so make sure you disable it and oh make sure it's first in position like that and this one here and just disable it and now when you move it it's fine um, so as you can see now the armor is working just need to lock it and now you can select everything lock armor and now everything is good again um, so uh, oh yeah and, uh, <laughs> you can change the type of armor and stuff so um, so now just grab the get, grab, grab the items armor stuff into the now like so and you should be ready uh, with the items so um, what you can do now is mm, change the armor type to gold chain to leather body type you can change uh, you can yeah whatever um, we have the tools they are parented if you follow the instructions and stuff like you can just, oh I kind of need to reload the textures if that's happening or you just announce open GL if you like uh, but no um, just select the spade or just select anything to get the options and then to, yeah you can change the, that and tool type and yeah uh, okay so that's about it for the items next thing okay, the last thing is the visual selector oh and the the layers okay so the layers what they do is you can um, say so you if you finished animating the rig you can off all the layers like so and you won't see the rig anymore so uh, it's nice and handy to have it Plus, you have locks and stuff, which uh, and unnecessary things you, if you don't want to see it in your editor. So yeah, uh, layers are really cool. Um, then we have the visual selector. I, I showed you how to use the fingers visual selector. You have the head, um, and then you have the mouth here. Yeah, but the head is just the other stuff. The eyebrows you can move it manually. The mouth. Um, so that's the one that's the entire top mouth piece and then tongue and everything then we have the main character which is just like that and everything yeah everything looks good um so that's about it i think oh and once you're done just remove this one you don't need it <laughs> okay so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, downloads in the description and everything, this information in the description. And bye.